Well, as we deal with so much happening in the world, art can elicit a lot of different emotions for people. And in this, in today's Java with Jamie, we had to Hotel Figueroa, which has an extensive specialty coffee list, by the way, to meet painter and LA native Erica Everett. She's known for her works highlighting feminine power. And now you can not only see her art on the hotel walls, but also stay in a suite decorated by Everett herself. I'm going to the bar to get my cup of coffee. <laughs> but here we are. When in Rome. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. I heard you have a nice coffee menu. Please me. Ooh, what are we going to do? From specialty lattes to matcha tea, Cafe Fig at the Hotel Figueroa has a little something for everyone on their menu. Oh, my goodness, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous can also be used to describe Erica Everidge's artwork featured in her new exhibit, In Her Image, part of the hotel's 2023 featured artist program. The hotel itself, the, the history of it and the ethos of it really match with my art practice and you know what I'm about as a person, as an artist. Um, women's empowerment, specifically empowerment of women's bodies, safety for women's bodies, um, creativity, you know, women being the subjects rather than the objects of, of our stories. The hotel opened in 1926, funded by women and for women who weren't forced to check in with a male chaperone. Now, Everage's nearly 20 hung pieces expand the idea of bold female figures. What inspires you when you go to create your art? Well, history. Right now, I'm really into the the archaeology, visually, I mean, they're already kind of abstract, which is interesting to me, and they're very curvy and um, mysterious, so I like all those things. You know, I also use my own body um, to paint from. Um, I, I used to dance, and I still dance, but not in any, I guess, professional way, but I use my dance to make paintings. And so the connection, I guess, is just about women's bodies taking up space. I like to make them larger than life a lot of times because I felt like I spent a lot of my life kind of being shrunken down, trying to mitigate my curves. Like, I can be, I can be a woman and be proud of my, my particular gender expression. Everidge's parents are interior designers, so creativity in the art space has always been part of her life, even if she didn't feel it right away. Did you know right away, I'm gonna go to art school? Like, no. dad's an artist? No. So no. how did that come about? Um, you know, I was really into drawing fashion uh, characters in my room when I was like 12, and my mom saw that I was spending a lot of time doing it. Sorry, mom, I'm gonna drag you a little bit. And she's like, well, if you're spending all this time, you know, you gotta learn how to draw well. So I got sent to a figure drawing class, um, which I was a little too young to take without a parent because it's naked people. So my mom actually went with me, and um, I, it became like, the best part of my week. Three hours every Saturday until I went to college. I drew naked people, <laughs> yeah. So what does your mom think now that she used to do art classes with you and you've turned this now into a full career? She's super, super proud. Yeah, she's my biggest fan, of course. Her mom and dad are not only her biggest fans, but also her biggest supporters. When Everidge found out about the hotel's new featured artist suite, she enlisted Krista and John of Everidge Design Incorporated to help decorate. Okay, so that involved the color scheme there, and then you worked around that one, is that the idea? Mm-hmm. There are vintage light fixtures and antique furniture throughout the room. So if people really love art, this is the room. I think so. <laughs> It's a lot of art. <laughs> Before blasting onto the art scene, like many Angelinos growing up in Santa Monica, I thought I was gonna be an actress. Oh, Barbie, baby sister Kelly needs a bath. Bath time fun, Kelly, in your cute little tongue. That's Everidge in a Barbie commercial from 1996. And while she went to Northwestern to study acting, she ultimately found her way back to her paintbrush. It feels incredible and so freeing. I feel so much fear than when I was an actress. <laughs> you know, I really feel in charge of my own destiny and I can wake up every morning and, and make art and paint and I don't have to audition to get the job.
So eventually, Everidge wants to open her own studio. One day, she wants to teach others about art, painting those powerful female expressions. She's so incredibly talented. It's it's amazing she doesn't already have her own gallery. Right? Because so many people would want to go and check out her work. Well, wow. That's you walk the hallway, and it, the interesting thing too is that you know you can see a similarity in some of them, right? But they're all so different, and she's yeah. using her own body for some of them. That you're, I, I don't know how you come up conceptually yeah. with so many different pieces, but she has and it's stunning yeah so. very talented